Sports Village Premier League 2 action for you this evening as Manchester United enter the final five games of the regular Sports Village pitch. Starting with Manchester United, Dermot Me and Goal. Going to go back to that back three that we saw against West Brom. Murray, Al Joffrey and Bennett, we think those back three. Amas and Ogunai, the two wide players, Bauman, Curley, and similar back three for them as well. McGill in goal drops down from the Brighton first team squad to play tonight. He's 24 years old. Jackson McConville, a fire. Left a little bit of a break, and it was a good performance against West Brom. Um, I don't think the game, from what I can... Three blows his whistle, and because we are in the no room for racism, couple of weeks in the Premier League, all 20... McNeil gets us underway then, and uh, Premier League 2 action on a Monday evening. Two games in a week for Travis Binion's side. They play at Old Trafford against Liverpool on Friday too. It is that back three, so we're just... ...an atmosphere and that big of a game uh, and perform the way he did. I thought he was superb, I really did. Ogunai comes across to Curley. Curley's going to have a go, it loops up in the air. Collects... Reflection carries it safely into the arms of the goalkeeper. And anything like, like his, his uncle. His uncle, yeah. yeah. Those of you who are wondering whether the uh, familial name is, is shared, it is. He is the nephew of the man they call Chariots. Fire. Yeah, he was a bit eager. And over before that, how can you decide on seedings when you haven't played everyone? Uh, they go off, the, the seedings were decided off performance in previous seasons. And it's into the penalty area. Pulls it back, does pretty well to get there before it... Why don't they play everyone? I, 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 there can't be a, a, a decent... ...and the first team had this weekend as the ball is in towards Charlie McNeil. Ogunai as well to get himself out of that situation. Finds Bennett and now Ayadeli. Intricate football back to Ethan Ennis. Cross it comes. Chance for Bauman. Bauman takes the shot, comes back out to a mass with the effort, and it's just wide. First time that the, the pace has quickened a little bit, and here, just a shout from Bauman from a mass. Whether he got one or not, I'm not sure, but feels how little of the ball they've actually had, Brighton. Just starting to come into the game, aren't they? As Doyle flicks this through, real opportunity. Flag stayed down, but Dermot. Down the right to Barrington. Barrington's going to have a little run at goal here. Still going, pokes it through. Chance offside. Josh Duffus gone too soon. Very nearly gets himself caught out, but the long ball should be dealt with. A little bit of confusion between me and Ogunai, but Ennis working hard to try and Win that back from McConville. It's Brighton, though, that have managed to pick this up and created a bit of space. Now some danger for Manchester United to deal with. Cross, it comes from a fire. Can it be turned home? No, it can be turned away. It's another good ball down the right for Brighton. Can I make this into an opportunity? Vickers. Wanted the run in behind Vickers, didn't get it, but it's come back out to Jamie Mullins. Right into the penalty, short corner option. Delivered towards the back post, well claimed by me. He wanted to get that on away as quickly as he... A positive one, isn't it? Of course it is. Nice turn. Yeah, away they go again. It just becomes a bit sticky once they reach the final third, although that's not a terrible... I mean, over the years we've been really spoilt with the... The, the entertaining football matches that the under-21s, even going back to when they were under-23s, have been involved in. Yeah. So it's odd when you see games like this. It's a dangerous ball and deflected too. His own pass. Dermot Me goes on a mazy run. Chance here for United if they can get the cross right. Oh, it's a dangerous one. It's in the back of the net. And it's come from absolutely nowhere. Harry Amass drilling the cross from the left-hand side. Turned into the back of their own net by Brighton. United in front. Manchester United won. Brighton nil. There you go, rest my case. <laughs> Just going round. Who is it? Murray. Sam Amass. Murray, yeah. yeah. And he fires a ball in at the near post. And you can see the defender there. And I'm not sure which one it was that put it into the back of his own net. 
draws the defender towards him, fired across into the near post, as if stopping a goal. And United go 1 0 up, but it's a really good ball from Hammy, I'm, I'm, Harry. I'm, I'm not taking it. Be a bit better in those half spaces. What you've seen there is Sam Murray occupying the half space that Eric Ten Hag was talking about, a mass going in the wide area. And, and because you've committed a defender to come and mark the. A fire. Fire gets it in, it's turned behind. Here comes the delivery then. Out swinger, headed away by Reese Bennett. Great head header, wasn't yeah. it? Second half, Ben. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure he will. I think he'll want, a, he'll want an injection of pace right from the word go. Um, I think both team talks will be exactly the same, but United's slightly better because they're a goal in front. Well, yeah, Delhi swings the cross in, pop the, potentially the two centre halves and then a mass. Was oh, it not? A gun eye. Chance here to get in behind. Ashton missing comes back and makes the uh, challenge. The corner. Yeah, just the ball in behind that they didn't find at all. Try and get themselves ready. Ben Jackson aiming here. Nearly gets there too, Jackson. In fact, he uh, collides. <laughs> Ever medical I nature will know what, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say. Calcification, it's called. Wow. There you go. Things you learn. For an under-21s commentary, shot comes up, sends it in. Oh, Rory McConville that was reaching for it. Clearing header, though, and a mass can pick it up in a dangerous area. Through it comes to McNeil, who just tries to ghost between a couple. Ayadeli steps in, turns himself back into danger, though, Maxi Ayadeli. The mass gets there again. Curly finds Ennis, chops back, cleared away. Of that ball back to his goalkeeper, but he puts his team in all sorts of trouble with a weak header and to the centre of the pitch. That would have been easily tidied up if he'd have just nodded it back to his keeper. Neil has a go from distance, but a um, little bit more going on in the opening stages of this second half than we had in the first. That's almost falls. Well, they will have checked it. They check every penalty, but obviously didn't think there was enough in it to overturn it, but it doesn't make an awful lot of sense to me. Maxi Ayadeli, heavy touch inside the D. Allows Brighton to steal the ball away. Amas nicks in again. That's the ball back for Manchester United. Oh, he's done brilliantly. Harry Amas! Oh, oh it's okay. He's done brilliantly to steal the ball back. Dancing into the... Close enough to make a tackle. There's one. There's two. There's three. Just shifts it. Just to give... He's a, a fantastic talent. And to be playing... And Brighton needs some impetus going forward. That's uh, not a bad ball across field either for Nielsen. Nielsen's done well to bring it under control. Pokes it across, good defending. Game over, but I think you'd be far more sort of certain that United were going to go on and win it. But while it's still 1 0, you never know, do you? They brag him off. Finds Wheatley. Wheatley with the turn. Looks to get it back to it. Brag him off. Lovely touch. Can he score? Looks to get the shot away. It's blocked. Shot comes in. It's wide. Uh, yeah, really clever. This is it again. Really clever. I mean, Duffus doesn't make a tackle at all. Pass back into him as well from yeah. Ethan Wheatley. Here's it the really delivery. The penalty area is Wheatley who makes the connection. Ghosting across the man at the front post, but can't glance his head of goalwards. It's a good delivery Yeah, as well. it is from Bauman. Yeah. Nice for sure. It's all intercepted again. Oh. oh, it's squeezed off the boot of Al Joffrey, and actually it's turned into an opportunity for Brighton. Into the penalty area. Looping one, ends up on the roof of the net. Well, Dermot me with a gaggle of three or four players around the penalty spot. Here comes the ball into the penalty area. It's going to be Rory McConville and a chance and an equaliser. A precarious 1-0 scoreline undone by Brighton. And it's Louis Flower, the substitute on, who scores. Adds in it and one being taken by Dermot Me. His last corner landed in the perfect spot for the boy who headed it there, McConville to poke home the rebound or to smash home the rebound actually but they've and that's exactly what's happened and, uh, and now United need to go and score again it was a good header from McConville and another good ball in from Doyle I have to say it's a Louis Flower but both goals in this game have gone to Rory McConville 
Bauman looking to get that back through to Charlie McNeil, but chance here for Brighton. Get the cross in, but it's straight at uh, Dermot Mee. Out of position from Bennett, and now having to do some defensive work, and that is quick and into the penalty area. Dangerous again. Loops up. Bennett's. If anything, he was fouled. Down in the penalty area. Oh, very nearly. Doyle in the rain at Lee. Launches this one into the penalty area. Loose in the box again, out comes Dermot Mee, smothers and deals with that situation. Second is here comes Devaney, runs over the top of the ball, whipped in by a mass, headed goalwards, but Geoffrey just couldn't quite get up high enough, could he, to get over the top of the ball and nod it down. Not a bad delivery yeah, though from Harry Amass. No, it isn't. Probably maybe slightly. Into some room so he can get the shot away, Devaney. More and more pressure from Manchester United. Ball floated in towards the back post. The mass with the effort. Nice turn from Max Deli, and then it comes into Charlie McNeil. Another decent. Here's the delivery into the penalty area, headed away. From Wheatley was lurking again. Devaney's going to get this back out to Amass. Oh, Amass with a lovely bit of disguise again. Gets around the first tackle into the penalty area. He's brilliant from Harry Amass, but can't find a red shirt in the penalty area. Superb. Absolutely brilliant. The little down the touchline. This is really clever. He's got very, very little room to manoeuvre. And then he takes the more narrow option. Given away in midfield. Oh, it's forward. And Brighton with a real opportunity. Flower with the effort. Big foot save. And another big save from Dermot Mee. And then the block from Devaney and Manchester United survive. Right, all keeping and last ditch defending, but it's the first time that they really got in behind. Good save Brave on both occasions. Yeah. Again, it's Brighton that managed to win this though, and they're in a dangerous spot with Doyle. Whipped in again. Me comes out. Oh, there's a collision in the penalty area. Referee's always giving the free kick. Yeah, too much on the goalkeeper. Too strong on the goalkeeper, United free kick. Yeah, bit of colour goalkeepers, but I've got no problem with this. It's a really good ball from Jamie Mullins, and he was brave, Dermot me. Missing. Towards the back post, just too deep from Ashton Missing. Ginger side, isn't it? From Harry Amass, trying to get back into position. Doyle steps away. It's the shot in, nearly met at the back post too. I think there was any danger there at all. Until there was. Until... Ooh. Severe bout of cramp. Full-time whistle goes and Manchester United can't take all three points. First goal coming from the fine work between Sam Murray and Harry Amman.